Hi Vortex. So um, we're gonna see if the uh, garage door opens on its own. Um, it worked before, but it might not work. Let's see. It happened, you guys. Isn't that exciting? I'm excited. Um, yeah, it's really cool when things work as they're supposed to. Um, sometimes it, they don't. And when they don't work as they're supposed to, um, then you're kind of screwed, you know, until you get some help. And, uh, you know, maintenance or whatever. That's why it makes more sense to rely on, you know, ourselves to get things done rather than rely on machines. Um, but I'm, I'm just saying, um, I know that I sound like a, a real self-righteous cunt, sorry, you know, especially when I live in a not so humble abode, am I correct? Um, I mean, I'd like to think that I'm a pretty humble person. I mean, wouldn't we all like to think that, though? But, let's see. Yeah, so, my garage door works now. But, it's messed up. so weird you guys look that's where I sleep <laughs> it's so strange to look at things from a different angle you know what I mean I know that you know what I mean it's a level it's a level see look they're still doing it they're still doing it they really are I'm still doing it see that See that over there? That's my house. I'm still doing it. <laughs> it's good to have like these lights, like because it just kind of makes your mood a little bit lighter. I've noticed just from having the Christmas lights on. It's like, um, it, it's almost 6.30 in the morning. It feels like it's like 4 a.m. Yeah, it's almost 6.30. Oh shit, those are my pistachios back there. Um, hey, hello pistachios. I said hi to you, Vortex. Are you going to return the favor of engaging in a friendly gesture? Are you going to do that? Or are you going to be hostile? Towards my pistachios. Hmm. I know these bumps on the road are very hostile to Fiona. That's my car. Fiona's a sweet baby. She really is. She's such a sweet baby dealing with me. Now we gotta pretend that we're wearing a seatbelt. Or you could just wear the suit belt. Yeah, I might do that. I might do that. Hold on one second, Vortex. This is something that you don't see very often, okay? That's right. Got the fur seat belt. In case we couldn't avoid it. Hold on one second. I'm actually not running this yellow light. <laughs> I usually do because I don't care 
and I just felt like being patient this morning. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl, that's right. Walking or talking with God, no strength or breath is lost. So true, so true. I really like that. That was a nice little billboard. Um, yes. Gotta take these little tidbits of hope wherever you can get them, folks. <laughs> tidbits, they're little tidbits. That's the coolest word. Um, I love this angle. Yeah, it's interesting. Oh shit, is that 5 -0? No, that's not 5 -0. Okay, we're good, we're good. <laughs> Unless it's undercover. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> we're just paranoid about everybody. You know, it's, it's like, it's so crazy to me, people that aren't paranoid about shit. I feel like that's their problem. If they were more paranoid, none of this shit would be happening. <laughs> So true, so true, yes, so very, very true. <laughs> but I know this is kind of weird what I'm doing right here, you know? Just like filming myself drive and talk. Hey, well, you're not even breaking the law technically because not only do you have your seatbelt on, but you also aren't uh, breaking the uh, the rule in regards to having something in your hand. That's true, that's true. This is a cannon that I'm holding right now. And that's cool. I'd much rather have it and do it this way. And I guess this way it takes longer and it's more arduous. I mean, I don't think so. I think it's cool having a camera. There's more options that you have with that. I know that a phone can do all that too, but I don't want a phone. I'd just rather have a camera. I want a phone to do what a phone does and a camera to do what a camera does. Back in the day, you would have different objects that did different things. Now you just have one object that does everything and everybody is lazy and stupid as fuck. It does not make sense to me why people keep bragging about this technology that's destroying society. My cannon is probably pretty dated. <laughs> That's fine. Like, I don't need to be hip and dip with the times or whatever. Every, every uh, era has somebody like me that just refuses to go along with like the cultural tide or whatever. And I'm not doing it like out of spite really. It's more just like, I'm just not interested. I'm like apathetic about it. You're not apathetic. You yell about it. What are you talking about? That's not apathetic at all. Well, I mean, like, I'm not going to be aggressive about it. I mean, I'm just, I'm going to bitch, right? <laughs> but I'm not going to get in people's faces and try to talk people out of being addicts, you know? You want to be an addict, you're going to be an addict. I know that shit. It's just annoying when everybody's doing it and it's socially acceptable and a lot of terrible people that work for terrible corporations are making a fuck ton of money off of these pieces of shit, you know? That's what's annoying about it. <laughs> At some point, it's going to impact me. It does depress me, though, thinking that people are living their lives like this, you know? It does depress me a lot, but I can't tell people what to do. I wish I could, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'd be so good at that shit. I really would. Cheers, cheers to that. Cheers, cheers to me being good. And ooh, five zero. -oh. Finally, <laughs> finally, I wasn't paranoid. See, no, no, correction. You weren't just paranoid. There you go. There you go. So true. Huh. 